outside about a minute later Nick will go I need the key I need to get back inside <laughs> so he's just gone back in <sighs> ah, it's a curse Great Ocean Road time Great Ocean Road here we come we did drive on it to get here there was a lot going on that day yeah, we a lot. It was a busy day, so yeah, we just thought we'd wait for a, a better day, and we've got some great weather. Um, they're just coming along for a ride, so there's some areas that uh, you, you can obviously just walk your dog, and then a, a lot of areas you can't because it's um, there's what's it, national park restricted, restricted, dog, and dogs I, prohibited. yeah, so dogs prohibited on certain areas, but you still get to see the views and stuff, so it'd be lovely. Looking forward to it. Get a coffee first with who? Where are we going for coffee? Uh, Bank Street. Oh, I know exactly where. Picked it out. Yeah. Done inside? Yeah. Okay. Luck alike. So we're on the Great Ocean Road, um, there's a boat ramp here that you can actually launch your boat off. There's a few people, obviously locals, that have come here and launched their boat. Uh, you, we'll show you how steep it is, or you'll see it in a video. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty crazy. crazy, like you wouldn't do it without a four-wheel drive, that's for sure. Um, and even then you really want to know what you're doing. But uh, yeah, so we're here and this is probably a good place to come and actually check it out because not a lot of people, there's a little walkout. Uh, a walkway out to see you know um, part of it and yeah it's at the boat ramp so whereas everyone goes to the other popular busy areas yeah we got um, when we were driving uh, and we stopped off just to have a bit to eat and stretch our legs um, on the way to Port Ferry uh, there was a guy that we were chatting to and he gave us the tip that some of these yep. well, you know not so touristy ones are, the, are just as great so we'll flip you around because they really are yeah wait till you see this yeah so you can sort of see over there that's the start of the boat ramp and interestingly it says um, there was a time when you could walk to Tasmania from here. really sadly um, when the, the ships started coming in um, the local Aboriginal people uh, were quite fearful and it states here that the fear was well founded as many of those people were massacred near here. Just another 500 meters of uh, far, uh, so just another 500 meters down the road is the actual uh, caravan and parking spot. Um, it's fairly free here at the boat ramp, and no one's really with us. So, good little tip if you're coming this way. Thank you. 
this is the uh, boat ramp. I'll show you how steep it is. And yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't want to go out here in your tinny. You definitely want a bar crusher. So this bit, which is Bay of Martyrs, is it? Yeah, Bay of Martyrs. Bay of yeah. Martyrs, um, there's just a dog friendly little walk track here. Um, I think it might be the only part of Great Ocean Road, like the main lookouts, that is dog friendly. So we're going to embrace it. Good girl. it is um, you can appreciate those that head out on their their boats and uh, brave it just over there just over there is where you get your boat out so it's a pretty rough day and there's a few boats out about the Great Ocean Road. It's pretty great. It's great and it's by the ocean. I don't know if it is all by the I feel like that's a well, I pictured no. something else in my head but there's a lot of parts that's by the ocean but it's not. Yeah I suppose yeah. you don't want it to erode away and yeah I wouldn't want to, yeah, there's a lot of collapses here that you can <laughs> see so I imagine why it's not right on the <laughs> ocean edge. The B100 which is the Great Ocean Road goes for quite a while. Yeah it does. It goes, I think I read it was 26 kilometers or 56 kilometers. I mean there's a massive difference there so I don't know. And I think if you're looking for that uh, famous sign it's near the 12 Apostles. I yeah. think we haven't yep. got that far yet yep. but we will try and check it out. It's probably 
the main attraction. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, no signs up saying no yeah. dogs. So. so there is one saying you can walk your dogs. So yeah, this beach must be dog friendly. Or... You have to come here in late, so I like that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Yeah, not sure you'll be getting in in a hurry. What do you think, Ninja? The reason I just took off my thongs is I'm just checking the temp on the concrete for her, making sure it's not too hot. So we'll just use the shade of the back of the car. Give her some water. some for me. It's a hot day today like and that wasn't a very long walk but just goes to show. Yeah we won't won't do another one that'll probably be it but it's a nice short one and yeah it's just been hot no not much wind going on at the moment. Got your steps in today Noonie. <laughs> Stop for a lunch break lunch at Champions tuna. Yeah, we just keep a bit of tuna and Robita crackers, just something that can stay in the car for ages and go off. And so, just, yeah, yeah some uh, bamboo forks and just keep them in one of the Robita boxes. So I'll just replenish that with 
from the tins when we get back to the van and that keeps us going because you know what happens when we get hungry. Angry. Angry. But a pretty awesome view. Yeah. Not bad for a lunch spot. We'll just let Ninja cool down while we have our lunch in the airport. So this is the Gibson Steps and it's pretty misty today as you can see. So we drove into the 12 Apostles parking, which is actually on the left side opposite um, the coast, uh, depending which way you're going, obviously. Um, and it's it's really touristy. There's an actual centre. You've got to walk under the road. Um, we we didn't do it. It was a bit disappointing, to be honest, because it's just tourist overload. Yeah, it takes I know away from I... it wouldn't just come here on the same side as the ocean park here and just walk up here. Look, I don't even know why they have, have yeah. that place. So, Gibson Steps is just before and you can actually walk down at low, well, I'm not sure about high tide, but low tide you're good to go and you can walk along the beach um, and walk pretty far. And I'd much rather do that than go to 12 Apostles massive parking lot. Um, yeah, with hundreds of people, so <laughs> just yeah, it takes away from it. Sense. Anyway, there's heaps of other spots like Bay of Martyrs and um, all the other areas that we we showed in this. So definitely check them out; it's worth a look. Um, and there's heaps of off-road little little nooks that aren't marked. So um, yeah, definitely keep an eye yeah. out as you're driving along. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> 